Who was a, a black female role model for you? Not your not your parents, anybody you know particular. Not anybody like, that I know. Yeah, but somebody in the media that you was just like, hmm. Um hmm. Felicia Rashad. Ooh. I love her. Sexy. She is just like the epitome of what a black woman is supposed to be. I like that. She's dope. <laughs> yes. She is. She is. That's very true. Yeah. Damn, that's a good one. <laughs> Damn. That, and that's, that's the only one I can think of, too. Like, I don't. She's just super classy. She don't take nobody's crap. She's smart, loving. She's a good mom. Right. Like, she just. And she's sexy. She empowers. She is super pretty. Even in her old age. <laughs> um, yeah. She empowers other women. She's anti the crabs in the barrel mentality. Right. She's just. Only time I didn't like her was on Empire. She was a bitch on Empire. For some I time. don't know if I saw it or not. I feel like I did. Oh, yeah, she was but... a old pompous bitch. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, what about Michelle Obama? I like Michelle Obama. I, I love Michelle. Like the way I she like think her. and the way she talk about certain things. She just mm-hmm. be like, I see right through that shit. Right, <laughs> you know right, right, right. Yeah. If I had to pick a second one, it would probably be her. But yeah. I just like my whole life, Felicia Rashad has just been that person. That that one right. celebrity that I would probably get starstruck over. Like I would probably pass out if she walked in the same room as I did. It's crazy because there ain't a whole lot of them. Mm -mm. No. I would say, um, I would say Beyonce to a certain extent. Because Mm -hmm. Beyonce, she ain't never been, you know, considered out there, Mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, Mm -hmm. degrading herself or anything Mm -hmm. like that. She usually, I could say Beyonce probably one hundred percent too. Yeah, she usually she usually uphold her mm-hmm. self respect and yeah. all of that stuff. She got a little nasty and a little ratchet yeah. at one point, but at later. that point she was being nasty and ratchet about her husband. They right. were married at right. that point, so right. Right. I was totally fine with it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with that. <sighs> That's another one um, that I think some girls can. I won't say look up to, but mimic in a way mm-hmm. and some girls just really hate her and i don't know why i'm not like a part of the beehive but you know i really why? respect her as a woman you know and why as a celebrity. because they self-reflecting they don't like themselves you're right that's why they gravitate towards cardi b you're right there's a video man and it was to be a joke but i'm like there's nothing funny about this shit at all what was it cardi b is walking in the like a bar with uh this white dude and she's like, ooh, you got a lot of black friends, a lot of black dudes in there. And as mm-hmm. soon as he walk out, she was like, who dick I'm sucking? And, and they start that. handing their $100 bills and say, I've been wanting to get my dick sucked all week. This didn't. And I'm like. And she took the money. What? I'm like, why, <laughs> yeah. why is prostitution considered a good thing now? Why is it okay that. to do I anything for a dollar? I think about it. Huh? Then you um post a yeah, poll yeah, about yeah, it I'm and almost half the women was like, Yes, okay. Yeah. No. Why is it why is that a good thing? I don't get that. They ju- they probably think it's a good thing because they're doing it and Cardi B justified it for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and horrible though. That like fuck them, then I get some money. Like, what? <laughs> Just imagine right. Lauren Hill saying some shit like that back right. in the day. Oh my god, that right. should have went nowhere. Like what? No, Lauren Hill wasn't saying nothing mm-hmm. close to that. Even the shit that Nikki says sometimes now, mm-hmm. the bitch can't do a verse without saying something about her pussy. That's true. That's true. I'm like since when did being a hoe become the thing to do? You know. That's why I hate That's the whole idea of, of slut shaming. Yeah, I hate <laughs> I hate the whole idea of slut shaming, slut shaming because mm-hmm. I just think that's bullshit. That's a fucking excuse. Mm-hmm. That's the same to me as these rappers out here talking about, oh, you should do lean. Like, what if the niggas were saying, yeah, I smoke crack. Yeah, let's do crack. Right. That's right. what slut shaming is to me. Mm-hmm. That goes Pretty, against. It's, yeah, yeah. And it's like... 
Um, one part of it, um, I guess when they tie in rape culture, like that, oh, that doesn't always you. have anything to do with slut shaming. Right. Not all rape victims are whores. Right. Like it's just, right. most of them aren't actually. That's how they Because that you. power was taken from them. And so even me for years after I was raped, like, I didn't have sex. That was how I kept my power because that was taken from me. Right. I was grown when I lost my virginity out of high school. Right. But officially, I guess, yeah. whatever. But I, um, it's not nice to just go walk up to a woman, oh, you're a whore, you're a slut, and all mm-hmm. that. But if the shoe fits, it just fits. If you right. out here hoeing, you just out here hoeing. That's something. <laughs> that's something to be said about slut shaming. Like I heard this one interview where they was talking about bullying, mm-hmm. and this dude was like, he was so glad that he got bullied as a kid. He mm-hmm. was like, if he didn't get bullied, he wouldn't have become an uh, MMA fighter. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have. Um, he wouldn't have had the mentality to be say, be able to say. I can do anything I want to do if I can mm-hmm. overcome this. It's like mm-hmm. certain things that people go through makes them who they are. So to mm-hmm. me, if there's somebody saying, if there's nobody saying that being a slut is wrong, you're going to create more sluts. Exactly. You're going to have more diseases. You're going to have more families being ripped apart. Mm-hmm. You're going to have more women becoming lonely in their later years of life mm-hmm. and raising more even more un- sluts. I was more unwanted babies and more right. dependent on the government and all that. It's just one right. big old stanky cycle. <laughs> sluts, that's why I say sluts should be shamed. Anything that you, that's for male and female. Anything mm-hmm. that you do, no, no, don't get me wrong, there's different degrees, but anything mm-hmm. that you do that says, I don't give a fuck about myself. Is bad. That's 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 exactly what it is. Yeah. That um, have you ever read that book in school, The Scarlet Letter? How I've heard the, of I that think before. She slept with somebody and she wasn't married, but got pregnant, and like they made her wear the Scarlet Letter because she was a hoe, mm-hmm. and they were, and that was, I think it may have been even the first time that she had sex or something. I don't know. Uh-huh. It's been a long time since I read it, but that was slut shaming in the old form. <laughs> just went on <laughs> social media, right? Right. <laughs> I just think people uh, want excuses to just do whatever they want to do. Mm-hmm. That's something you shouldn't be able to do whatever you want to do. Mm-mm. Because if I was able to do whatever I want to do, there'd be a lot of banks robbed around this month. I'm fuck. trying to tell you. If I was able to just do whatever I wanted to do, <laughs> shit. There's something to be said about um, people in civilization. And we have no civilization. We're just animals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, we, this country definitely needs some structure. Yeah. Probably wouldn't do no good at this point, though. Mm-hmm. Everybody's so far gone. I Not agree. everybody. A lot of people right. are so far gone. Right. But. <laughs> what do you say? Huh? <laughs> well, what do you say? That is exactly why. I think I told you, I told you that when I got here. I'm going to get a hold of, I'm going to start with the teenage girls at my church and hopefully I could grow it into a community thing. Not even hopefully, hopefully, I'm pretty sure I will be able to grow it into a community thing because they don't have good guidance at all. Like when it comes to anything, even like last time we were talking about hygiene and not knowing how to take care of themselves and not knowing how to just really carry yourself as a woman. Um, I know this one girl, she's like 19 and I'm just like, what the heck? She's just so far gone. She has a baby now. Um, but when she was younger, she was always up under me, but then she got away from that because she started making a lot of friends making the wrong friends in the Sykeson area and now she's yeah. like this whole woman that I don't even know and I'm just like I need to get get her back under my wing right, or right. something because they just don't and at some point they have to take responsibility and be like this not cool 
I can't. Right. I shouldn't be talking about me being horny on Facebook or right. what I just got done doing with this guy on Instagram. Like I hate that. Me too. I hate that. Me too. But. You know, you know, it's bad when it when a dude hates that. Like, come on, be. Yeah. Um. Just imagine if there was more women doing what you're doing. I know. Just imagine if everybody mm-hmm. took that time out. Mm-hmm. We could change shit. With Even numbers. just like one person per town. Like it don't take mm-hmm. a whole lot. Like most of the time these kids just want somebody to be there for them. And I feel right. like when I was that age, I, I had mentors right. and not even always out of my church. Like I always, I had somebody that was older, but still young, like not my mama's age. Like I, that they were more relatable that could tell me pretty much the same stuff my mom was telling me, but I would listen to them more because they were younger and I felt like they understood more, but it it don't take a whole lot. That's that whole, um, it takes a village concept Mm -hmm. that we got away from. Yeah. Um, If you look at everything that was going on in the sixties and seventies, like before drugs tore certain communities apart, Mm-hmm. And even after some, a lot of people was just believing like, oh, if I catch you out of line, I'm gonna tell your mama, yeah. you know, or yeah. or if if you wearing this when I see you out, I'm gonna like snatch you up. Mm-hmm. Like we need that. We do. We really. We need really. That.